What's up guys, Sure here, and today I got some good ones for you. We're going to be running around with a lot of scorpion, and we're going to use the crossbow, but the main objective is more to use the shotgun and survivor, and see what we can do with it. It ended up being one of the most effective weapon combos I've found, and I wanted to kind of show you guys why, and part of it is because of a glitch that allows your backup weapon to shoot instantly if you're already shooting them with your main weapon when you switch. So when you're using an assault rifle, you can end up shooting someone with your uh, shotgun instantly, and we're going to be taking advantage of that, and I think you should too. I'm not totally sure it's a glitch anymore because the PTS, uh, I tried it, and they fixed the problems that the sniper rifles have with it, but they still allow the shotguns to do it, so it might be more of a feature at this point, so I figure I'll go ahead and let everyone know what's going on. And for those of you who don't know exactly why the shotguns do that, what it is, is like I said, if you're shooting someone with your main weapon, let's say an assault rifle, and then you switch to a shotgun, it instantly shoots now. And so basically, it makes it to where you can do a lot more damage by starting off with an assault rifle, and then eventually switching to a shotgun, than if you were to just start off with a shotgun to begin with. And the shotguns that have, uh tested the most are going to be porcupine joker and bear trap i like joker and bear trap the most right now and one of the things that's really going to make a big difference is going to be using the arbitrator or dragon fire for the assault rifles i also like to use survivor but i think that dragon fire with its stem effect and arbitrator with its medium range uh, capabilities is actually really interesting Another thing I love to use is my throwing knives, and if you know someone's going to come on the other side of a wall in a predictable amount of time, you can actually throw a predictive throwing knife to have it arrive at the time that they're going to be there, and uh, it actually works pretty well. And I do want to note that I have 13 kills in the first half of this game. When you see how many kills I end up with, you're just going to be blown away by that. We are down by about 400, so it's not the best position ever to be in, but we're starting to come back a little bit, get the orb back, and try to make our way on. But we do end up getting a very unfortunate spawn behind us. Um, our teammates are right here. I end up not getting the orb right there. I accidentally missed it. But I'm just going to try to push ahead and get a multi-kill. I couldn't get the fort once because he was still invincible. But we do get the triple, and we have a very fortunate spawn. And they are kind of in a trap to where they're going to spawn in that same house every time. Allowing me to know exactly where they're going to spawn and make it a lot easier to get multi-kills. And fortunately, we are able to start spawn killing him, and we are about to take the lead for the first time in maybe the whole game. But we're still not there just yet. Luckily, we do get the four at once. We go for the five at once, but our shot doesn't actually hit, end up registering, which is a little annoying. But you can't really be too mad at a four at once. And we are able to finally take the lead and keep it going. Our teammate goes behind and flanks him, which kind of sucks because that's why they didn't spawn in the house over and over for the entire game. So uh, if you're ever in this situation, if this map ever comes back, um, don't do what that guy did. But honestly, I'm just glad my teammate helped. Can't really be too mad at it. We are doing pretty good as far as kills go and points. I can't believe we're actually about to hit the 2,000 mark considering the fact that we really were just about a minute and a half ago almost at 1,000 points. So it really did pick up towards the end. We're at 28 kills right now, and we're going to keep going to see if we can just push our kill record up to a little bit higher. And we do end up using our survivor to be able to steal that kill from our teammates, and we get the last kill right before the game ends ending with 553 points and 31 kills. Then again, we are behind. This is already a minute and 20 seconds into the video. We only have one kill and my whole team combined has two. So it is not really going that well. They are about to five cap us already. It was just a straight slaughter from start to finish. We do end up getting him a little bit on the ropes here finally, and we're going to go ahead and kill him out of D-Hill and then move up and try to hit the next people. But our teammates decide they don't want to go for the hills, so I guess we'll double back and get it for him. Honestly, at this point, I'm just happy we're getting out of the spawn because when you're about to get five capped in the first minute and a half of this map, you're really in trouble, and you usually don't get to come back from that. So, honestly, I'm just happy that we haven't lost yet. 
we are going to be able to push up after getting that triple and do our best to go ahead and see if we can push for the unstoppable we only need a couple more kills we do get one there and we know there's someone in the hill with us since it's not capping and we're playing ring around the rosy with him another guy does drop in the hill so now we know there's two we do get one kill for the unstoppable and we kill the last guy getting that double kill unstoppable and we're going to move up mostly at this point we're just going to be waiting and seeing if we can end up getting this hill to stay because again once you get like three capped and then four capped and about to be five capped in that first minute it really doesn't bode well for this map so i'm still very cautious and i'm just trying to make sure that i keep my team's position at sea like pretty strong but i do notice that two of them went around so i decided to push up with them and now notice that one of them died the other one kind of fell back but that's fine we're still gonna push up and see if we can get any of the stragglers that they had we end up getting the triple off that and we're gonna go ahead and hit our scorpion to see if we can go for more we do end up getting the four at once from that and then we go for the five at once we then go for the six at once with the scorpion crossbow headshot he ends up somehow being able to live through it good on him i guess we'll go for more after that i'm guessing a stem gun i'm not sure but it doesn't really matter Either way, we're going to keep pushing up and seeing if we can go ahead and win this game. Because remember, we were in a lot of trouble early, so being able to flip this back on them to a 4 cap is quite impressive and really nice. I'm glad my team stepped up and did their jobs. So thank you team. And right there, we are going to get the elimination streak. We get shot in the back before we can really do too much. But being at 20 kills already is pretty nice, and uh, especially when you factor in um, the beginning of the game really didn't go that well, we're doing really well. Um, we do hit a guy that's using Scorpion up there. We gotta make sure that we don't let him come up and one-shot us with the Scorpion. So I'm trying to get this guy while also being behind that sign so he couldn't see me. We do end up killing him through our tick damage at the end anyways. Then when we go for the fourth guy, sadly we couldn't end up getting him, but it's fine. Our team ends up doing a little bit worse than I'd like, so we're going to go ahead and stay at C. We don't want him to come and be able to take C right at the end of the game and kind of just like ruin all the progress we've made. But we do end up staying there, and I go ahead and fast forward it because I just don't do anything the whole time. But we end up winning with 23 kills three triple kills a five at once and an unstoppable pretty nice not gonna lie right here we're going into the next game and we are down by 300 and one of the reasons i want to show this is really all these games i was down by a lot and i was able to use this combo to be able to come back and be able to carry my team and even without crossbow, you can just use it with something like a survivor or dragonfire or arbitrator and then either a joker, or porcupine, or bear trap and just use that with the scorpion. And you can do a lot as just like a secondary loadout, have like your main sniper loadout, and then just every once in a while, whenever it's off cooldown, you can come and use this loadout. And you can do the same thing with things like Undying, and you don't necessarily have to rush with it the whole time, but just go ahead and use your Undying when it's on cooldown, then you go snipe or do something else, and then same thing with this Scorpion. You can just use it as more of a supplementary type loadout instead of your main loadout. And just when you really need to break up a hill or you need to get that multi-kill on those people that are standing next to each other, you can go in there, you can hit your uh, scorpion, and then you can just use your assault rifle and your shotgun and get a lot of kills really quickly on them. And then you can go back to using the loadout that you are using before. I think that this is a really good way to do it, and it works really well. And I've tried this with uh, something like a scout instead of using the crossbow. I found that the crossbow is better just because you do have that one-shot ability when you need it, but the scout works just fine to get you to where you need to be, especially if this is going to be like a backup loadout. And I recommend this highly. It works very effectively. Right here, we're going to end up trying to chase him with our assault rifle. We end up killing him. We know we're getting chased by someone else, so we're going to watch all the doors. When we see him, we're going to go ahead and shoot him with our assault rifle and switch to our joker, using the glitch at its best and be able to shoot them, get as much damage as possible, as fast as possible. And that is the main reason that I think this loadout's so good, is the fact that you can switch to that joker and or bear trap and start shooting immediately, getting so much damage. 
And when you're in a bad spot like this, where I need two for an unstoppable, I can go ahead and hit that scorpion, go ahead and kill him with my joker really quickly, allowing us to win the game. Even though with one minute left, we were losing 1,500 to 1,800, it allows us to come back, get in three triples, an unstoppable, and like 17 million doubles. Um, it, it's really nice. I think you guys are going to like these combos a lot. If you got scorpion, any assault rifle, any shotgun, It'll work for you, and then if you got the crossbow, that's even better. If not, just use whatever sniper or a scout. It'll work. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.